welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. My name is Erin and today I'm going to be just kind of sharing with you the top five books that really shaped me as a reader and a person. So a lot of these are books from my childhood so it's a little trip down memory lane for us. Um, without further ado, we'll just get started. So I don't know if anyone's done this video before. They probably have and this is probably like number one for everybody. But that is definitely Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone of the Harry Potter series by the amazing J.K. Rowling. But so this book is just, it is just so magical. Like it really just changes your life. The people that are passionate about this book have been passionate about this book and series for 20 freaking years now. And the hype is just not dying down at all which is just phenomenal. It's just such a staple in my childhood, um, part of growing up. It's always there for me if I'm going through a hard time. If I'm kind of slipping back into depression and having a hard time focusing on other books, I always can turn to Harry Potter and it just makes me feel so much better. So I could really go on and on about the ways that this book has impacted me. But I just, it's Harry Potter. That's really all you have to say. So the next book or books um, that really shaped me as a person and a reader was definitely the American Girl books. And okay, so I had like all these books. They're probably in my mom somewhere, but I don't know where and I don't feel like digging for them. But I picked this up at our local like kids indie bookstore. And this is an old one. They don't make the old ones anymore. They're all out of print. And it's just like so sad, but it's so cool. So it has like all the historical girls. It even has like the order form for the dolls in the back. It is just so cool. So Kirsten was one of my favorite American girls. I have my Kirsten doll way up there. So she's actually the second Kirsten doll I owned. All my original dolls are just like <laughs> in terrible shape because me and my best friend at the time played with them all the time. Um, I had a lot of medical problems growing up and I was in the hospital a lot of my childhood. I still have medical problems today. If you ever want me to go into detail about that, I can. But we had like a lot of hospital supplies and we'd always play hospital with them. And it was just so much fun but they are just in terrible shape now. But I do have a new Kirsten doll. Kirsten was one of my favorites and I just picked this up the other day. And this just was really there for me when I was sick or home, um, even in the hospital. I never, I don't know, liked to like stay the night places, even though I did. But I just spent a lot of time by myself. I was an only child. Um, so I just really, and I loved history, so I just really enjoyed reading these books. They were a huge, huge part of my childhood. Okay, so the next book I'm going to talk about is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. So I was the biggest freaking Twihard you could ever imagine. Like, I don't think I have pictures anymore. I'll try to find some, but I had like Bella's clothes. Like, I would search on the internet all the time looking for the outfits that Bella wore in the movie. I had like her purple bed spread. I had like her jewelry. I had all kinds of stuff. Every movie, every book. So Twilight really came to me at a kind of a lonely time in my life. Um, I was older. I had just graduated from the Disney College program. I came home. I really kind of lost all my friends from school. Not that I even had many. I've never really had friends growing up besides when I was little. I went through a horrible breakup. So this was just something I could really delve into. I resonated so much with Bella just being kind of a loner. I'm kind of awkward, shy, emotional. I just really, really connected with her character. It was just there for me when I had no one else to, you know, turn to. And being a part of the fandom just felt like so, like I had friends and I don't know. But this was a huge part of my like early 20s, maybe when I was like 19, um, 18, 19, I'm 21. Oh, oh my god, I'm 31. Ugh, oh, that is just prayers. But this was really just a big part of my early adulthood. So the next book I'm going to talk about is The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle, which I've talked about all the time on my channel. 
there's people like just don't know what this book is but it's so cute so whimsical so magical so I actually got into the movie first so I would my parents were divorced so I'd stay with my dad every other weekend and we would always go to this little local video rental place called boxcar video it was literally in a boxcar and I'd always rent the last unicorn and it always came in a pink plastic VHS case yes I'm definitely showing my age again I was around for VHS's and it was just so much fun and then my mom got me the book like a while later and I just fell in love and with the story like so like all over again so much more I just enjoyed it so much as an adult as a story also for nostalgia reasons I love unicorns my uh, room at my mom's would always was always decorated in unicorns and I just I love anything magical so this book has just really stuck with me for a long time and then the last book I'm going to talk about is The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna so I did read this book when I started really getting into hardcore reading about the time I started booktube and this just was such a great gripping story this is what made me start wanting to read more adult books I fell in love with the characters I fell in love with a more older like writing style, more mature writing style. I fell in love with Kristen Hanna as an author. I This was one of the first books I read last year and I still talk about it like all the time. So it has really up and opened up a whole new world of reading for me. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. Definitely down below let me know like your favorite books of all time, some books that have really impacted you as a reader and a person why i love having like conversations in the comments um, but i will see you guys soon for a new video soon please like this video if you liked it and even subscribe if you'd like to see more of my bookish content but that is it for today and i